it's all about looking cute and slaying on the budget, <laughs> okay? Take a chance, you never know. But you don't know it's beautiful. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 and 9 in LT. If you are a returning subscriber, hi. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining again. If you are a returning viewer but not a subscriber, what are you doing? Go ahead and click that subscribe button. So if you are new, hi, my name is Deja, so nice to meet you. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and drop something down in the comments. It helped my channel out so much, so thank you. And for today's video, we have one month review of this hair. Yes, this hair. I'm so excited to be doing this hair review um, for you guys today. This has to be one of my favorite wig units, like my top two. Um, I'm so 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 proud as far as like the color turnout like a nice little chocolate brown all right so time to actually get into the review this is just my thoughts as far as the hair with the one month if you guys see me looking down I have a notepad here with all of my notes um I really sat down and really thought about everything from the time that I ordered the hair until now just so I can make sure that I'm give you guys a really good quality review this hair is from beauty forever hair I ordered um Three bundles of the Malaysian straight. Um, I have the inches of 20, 22, 24, and then a 20 inch closure. Okay, so when it comes to this review and with the hair, I broke down the review in five topics and then I rated each topic um, anywhere between one to 10. So with the first topic is going to be shipping and delivery. So I originally ordered the hair on July 9th. Um, typically when it comes to Beauty Forever, I normally order on like a weekend or somewhere close to the weekend. And then it's like the turnaround time is really fast. I'll have it like three or four days. Like as soon as I order it, they'll send me the notification as far as, yep, we got your order. And probably like a few hours later, even the next morning, they'll send me, um, info saying that the hair has got delivered. Um, this time I ordered it on the 9th. And like I said, normally they're really fast with communication. I really didn't receive anything as far as the hair besides you know thank you your hair has been ordered so on the 12th i reached out because it's not like them they're usually pretty fast so i'm like hi you know i ordered my hair on this date i had this um type of hair I didn't receive anything just wanted to make sure that you guys have gotten my order and then their customer service rep replied and said you know hi thanks for the order but there was an issue with the lace that you ordered like i said i originally ordered the hd lace and they said that they didn't have the hd lace but they just had the brown lace and they were wondering if i'll be able to take the brown lace instead i didn't have a problem with the fact that they didn't have the hd lace i mean the brown lace is fine it matches me pretty well still um i think better than the transparent um lace but my issue was you guys haven't reached out to me um as soon as i ordered the hair when you guys got the notification you guys should would have should have said something about the fact that they didn't have the type of lace that i wanted not waiting for days to go by and then me reaching out to you you guys should have been reaching out to me after we communicated i said okay fine you know i'll get the brown lace but i said just to let you guys know that that was an inconvenience to me and if you guys were out of that lace and you knew you were out of that lace you shouldn't be promoting it on your page so that was the only downfall that I had as far as the shipping. So yeah, I reached out on the 12th and then the 13th, it got shipped. I got the notification and everything. And then on the 17th, which was a Friday, which was a Friday, I received my hair. So overall, I'm giving um, the first topic for the shipping delivery a five, just for the fact that they didn't communicate to me right away. And then they sent me the wrong bundles and then had the wrong item in stock. It was still promoting it on the website and I paid for it, that specific lace. So the next topic um, that we're gonna move on to is hair quality. I will say that overall, I do love the quality of their hair, especially for the price, um, it's very, very good. It's not you no know, Kendra's Boutique or whatever because it's not that expensive, but so when i first got the hair um typically when it comes out of packaging i know sometimes people say not just, not with this company but just in general you know you order in the hair so it's been in factories it's been in boxes bags or whatever the case may be um when i got the hair it did not have any type of funny smell at all 
Um, I typically don't co-wash the hair. A lot of people do, but if it's not spilling on anything, it's, it's still soft and whatnot. I just normally put it right into the wig. But for the fact that I did color the hair, obviously I needed to wash it before I put it together. But it didn't have any funny smell. It was very good. And then typically when you get the hair, you're able to just run your hands through it and it won't be any tangles. It'll be super soft. It was like that for all for the hair itself besides the last bundle, the 24 inch and the closure. I'm not sure if it was a processing issue or whatever, but when I got both of the two, um, both of them, they weren't as soft as the um, first two bundles. They weren't as soft. There was a little bit more rough when I, when I wasn't sure what that was about. I didn't like it. Um, I didn't know if it was going to stay like that the entire time. Obviously, now it's fine. But the way that I fixed that is that when I went in and washed it after the coloring process, and then when I washed it a few weeks later, um, I took this Shimmer Light shampoo um, because I just love what it does to the hair it makes it nice and soft it kind of like conditions it brings that luster and everything so i put that on both of the bundles when i after i colored the hair and then i put it on my entire hair when i'm washing it and it made it feel really really soft so it kind of brung back maybe it was just the fact of the bundle and the closure being in the bag or something but they just weren't as soft as everything else but overall it was an easy fix okay and one of the reasons why i really like this hair is because i use minimum to no product on the hair and it still has it's natural shine it's natural luster it is still soft i can run my fingers through it no problem so yeah i haven't used any product on it but if i do use product on it i'll use the um garnier fruity sleek and shine it's like a frizz control oil it's so so soft it smells so good it makes the hair smell good i'll probably use like a dime size of that in my hair rub it through that hair especially on the ends because you know ends can tend to go faster than anything else put that on my hair like once and I'll be perfectly fine. I'm glad that it's still working fine without any products. So when it comes to the quality of the hair, the only negative thing that I have to say about it is during the wash, um, the washing process gets tangled. When they see the hair, they send you like a little care tip and everything. And I know they said that you shouldn't brush the hair while it's wet. You should finger comb or finger detangle. But while I'm washing it, it likes everything. It gets so tangled up and I've, I've never had that happen before. Um, so I, I'm not sure as to why, but like I said, I use the Shimmer Light Shampoo, let it sit on it and it softens up afterwards, but I'm just not sure why it's doing so beforehand, especially if it was my very first wash. It's not like I had the hair for a very long time, so I believe, I feel like it shouldn't be doing that. But that is the only thing negative that I have to say about the quality of the hair. So for that, I gave it overall a eight. That's good. We like eights. Okay, and for the next topic, this is the one thing that I feel like will make or break hair is shedding. Now, if you guys are wondering, for me, myself, I did not have any major shedding with this unit. Now, I will say, first and foremost, get the narrative out of your head that the hair won't shed. Good hair, bad hair, cheap hair, expensive hair, the hair is going to shed. If the hair on your head, your normal head, sheds, your weave is going to shed as well. But with this hair, um, I can run my fingers through it and there not be a strand. won't be anything. Oh. But like I was saying before my earring decided to not cooperate, I can run my fingers through it and there's not be a strand of hair at all. And the one thing about this wig too is that when I made it, I did cut the webs. I don't really like doing the flip over method because I feel like it makes everything look bulky. So I cut the web. So that's the only time that I had shedding with the hair is because I cut the webs during the time of me making the wig. You're cutting the webs, so you're cutting where the hair is attached to. So obviously then during that time, it's going to shed. But I haven't had any major shedding afterwards. So I think that's really, really good. So ladies, if you're concerned about shedding, this hair is perfectly fine. You're not going to be walking around like a cat or a dog and have hair, leaving hair all over the place. Obviously, if you go through and do a nice detangle or a nice combing, you may get, you're going to get some pieces on your brush. But other than that, your hair won't just be falling out of your head, just to be falling out your head. So, so when it comes to shedding, like I said, all hair sheds. So I did give this category a 10. You know, it's normal. It's a part of life. I don't get a lot, don't get that much rarely. So I give it a 10. I love it. You have no issues like brushing the tangling the tangling the tangling still haven't gotten the strand like this is great and i cut the web so great it's a 10 it's a 10 sis it's a 10. okay so for the next topic it is coloring as you guys can see if you didn't notice the hair is colored 
and it took this color very very well i have like i said i've used this company a few times i've colored their hair blonde i did another like chocolate wig with like the deep wave style it takes the color very 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 well didn't have any issues and didn't take long to process um with this how i colored this hair it was something i've never done before so i had to do it twice but i wouldn't say that it's on the company's fault it was just my first time if you guys want to bleach it to get get that nice either honey blonde or ash blonde it'd be perfect and my hair still feels good after the fact of me doing what i did to the hair but yeah this took the color so well like this is like my favorite part of the hair So when it comes to the rating of the coloring, I'm going to give it a nine, even though I said that it took the color very, very well. My only hiccup is that I had to do this. I had to do the process to get this color twice. I wasn't sure if it was on me because it was my first time doing it and I didn't do it the normal way or if it was the hair, but it's still good. Nine is still great. So if you want to color some hair, you'll be good with this. If you want to go purple, red, blonde. Now for the final category, it is heat, straightening, and curling. Now, I know this was straight hair, but after I washed it and everything, it wasn't straight after the fact, it curled up a little bit. So this is what the flat iron did. It got it nice and bone straight. So I would say that this hair takes color very, very up. So ooh, I would say that this hair takes heat. We moved on from that topic very very well um the only thing that i didn't try to do is i didn't try to curl it just because i wanted a straight look for this unit um i would curl my bang every now and then and it took the um curls to it later on eventually it did fall and like i said i try not to use a whole bunch of products so maybe if i use like some hairspray or something it'll help the um the bang curl more but other than that it takes the heat great um one thing about heat though is that i don't put excessive heat on it i flat iron my hair after i wash it leave it at that i don't go every day and um straighten it don't do more than two passes and that's one thing that i do when it comes to straightening out. i always use heat protectant when i straighten it spray some throughout the hair brush it out and then go ahead and fasten it i don't put the heat directly on my hair without putting any type of protective on it that can damage your hair straighten this hair don't blow dry it let it air dry and then use a heat protectant and then i have a flat iron that goes all the way up to 420 i don't put it at its max even though if i did i feel like it'll be fine i have it at like 315 320 because you don't need that much heat so overall when it comes to the heating i'm going to give this category a seven um just because like i said i don't feel like it'll be fair if i give it a full 10 because i haven't tried to full-blown curl this entire unit so it may not curl the entire thing and then you guys go get it you try and curl it and then it doesn't for you and i say that it takes heat and curls very very well and you say did you're a liar but no so i'm going to give it a seven okay so that is it as far as all the categories of the hair overall i'm going to give the hair an eight the only thing negative that i have to say again is the process as far as the shipping and the delivery and then the nags and snags and tangles and everything i get when i curl it but other than that i love this hair i'll buy it multiple times i bought it multiple times before but guys this is it listen i'm telling y'all if y'all want some cheap affordable hair this is it cheap affordable but still gives you that great quality you wouldn't be wouldn't nobody be able to know that you only paid 140 dollars for it i ain't paid 140 dollars for this but i have it for it so i'm just saying it's all about looking cute and slaying on the budget okay <laughs> dropping 300 dollars on a wig especially if you don't know how to take care of it so I'm definitely going to go ahead and leave the link to this here in the description box down below the exact um, texture and the exact lengths that I got. And then you guys can go ahead and explore. If you guys enjoyed this review, I hope it was helpful. And whether you were thinking about buying it or you just wanted to, you're trying to find some new hair, this would be the perfect way to go. Yeah, but if you ain't tried this hair yet, what are you doing? What are you doing? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? But listen, I wear Beauty Forever here so much and Ellie Pro that when y'all need to hit me up. This isn't sponsored, but I love y'all. If y'all want to work with me, just let me know. Coupon code or something. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Do all three. All three. And thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys on my next video. Take a chance, you never know. But you don't know.